whatever form of government we have that is created by human beings and that should empower not disempower or destroy this yes yeah okay yeah yes yes boy so i'll try to quickly i mean we went a lot, a lot of a lot of points but i'll try to quickly summarize and then that will give the trajectory for future discussions so basically we try to discuss about uh, why is it uh, important for what is, uh, when we comment on politics it is that there is no such thing as political neutrality because politics affects us everyone and in that sense it's a matter of concern for us and if there is ra rather than focusing on taking sides with respect to particular parties we need to look at the underlying values and see which are the values which at at a basic level lead to the flourishing of human human beings like basic living and then looking at the purpose of living thereafter and radicalism is a threat to society and the basic structure of society and when the radicalism comes it can come through religion as it might be islamic radicalism or it could come through atheism like say marxist radicalism but if it weaponizes the government then it becomes a huge threat even if the government allows it to continue at also the threat in fact so in one sense dharma is the set of values that enable people to flourish at a basic level and then seek a higher meaning in life yes and um, the government should be such that it protects dharma and one way of protecting dharma is fighting off radicalism radical ideologies and then shraddha is personal one can profess one shraddha like the kings would build temples but like practicing even publicly one shraddha is different from imposing it on others so when it start imposing it becomes radicalist so here the ideology that was at threat in the coming the applying all this to the american elections the ideology that was trying to weaponize the government that was the that was the cultural marxism where you divide society into oppressors and oppressed and see every problem in society through that prism so whether it be the say, prism of race or of in india it could be caste it could be even of parent and child or male female gender or even the very concept of gender from birth and this ideology became a threat to the basic functioning of society yes. like the family is the basic unit and if children the parents don't have the right to protect and guide their children then that becomes a big threat so the is election results independent of what is the personality of particular candidate candidates and whatever particular limitations they might be having the what we can see is that this was a push back against the radical ideologies and within the broad vedic tradition we have the understanding that nana chasan parva you mentioned first there has to be a good king then a good family and then a good source of living mm -hmm. so in the vedic tradition shraddha and dharma were separated ram rajya is more about dharma than about shraddha mm -hmm. and for us like you talked about america being sought by people even people who hate it because their dharma in the sense of the basic values for flourishing are created by the government system and that's why people want to go there and then use those resources so for india also there could be an ideological threat that we need to be aware of and that we need to push back against you know it would be we explore how leftist ideology has affected america it could be interesting to explore how it has affected india also one aspect of the effect you discussed was how in the leftist countries I, the leftism did not make people anti national in russia and china but that's what it does in america or india also so so overall what we can see is that that there are be it like family is a basic structure created by god is natural we also talk of people may have natural inclinations so whatever social structures are there they should facilitate the natural system like family or the natural abilities of people like people from particular communities may have particular abilities but facilitating is one thing forcing is another mm -hmm. so when the government system whether it is democracy or monarchy when it empowers the natural systems that lead to human flourishing then such systems are positive and they can be accepted and uh, they they are what will help society to move forward in today's world 
any concluding comments you want to add prabhu thank you for uh, nice summarization of because we were too abstract today <laughs> but it was that's yeah. how the next uh, discussion will happen you know that as you mentioned very uh, uh, you summarized everything ideology should not be weaponized and marxist yes. ideology is meant to weaponize unfortunately so anything mm. which is radical control freak they will try to control in the name of liberty in the name of empowerment they will take away the human freedom community freedom family freedom and then make it a machine which will only think what they want us to think and that is what the american election was all about you know from the we are not talking from the you know the who is ruling from the ideology perspective today we were only discussing ideology not necessarily the candidate because that is none of our uh uh fault yes. or strength yes sir yeah. thank you so much thank you hari krishna bol hari krishna